good rainy Wednesday morning. It's um, day 28. Uh, makes officially, well, one month. <laughs> oh, I need some. Oh, God, God, God. Rainy weather's having a completely horrible effect on my sinuses. But, um, day 28. Today's the way in. It's another rainy ass day. Don't know where all this rain's coming from, but hey, I like it. But, um. <coughs> oh, please excuse me. This weather's playing to hell on my side. But anyway, day 28. Um. I don't know how much my weight loss is going to be this week. I know it's going to be lower than normal. Because I actually cheated a day. Cheated a day. <coughs> oh, bloody hell. Whew. Anyway. I cheated a day. Actually, closer to two days I cheated. But, um... So I don't know how my uh, weight is going to go. Uh, but anyway, day 28, weigh in, lost weight, maybe, hopefully. I tested myself for ketosis again last night. I'm back up to, uh, uh, something. <coughs> Whatever the scale is, it goes from trace up to something. And I'm uh, three notches over. It's trace, something, 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 something. Moderate. Usually I'm in moderate. I'm in, usually I'm, in, I'm at the moderate side of ketosis, but um, <clears throat> after cheating Saturday and really Sunday too, I, knocked, I didn't knock myself completely out of ketosis, strangely enough. I never went completely out. I was always at trace, at least, so I never actually stopped being in ketosis, which is really cool. Because I ate sugar Saturday, uh, Saturday night. I ate a piece of cheesecake and some uh, bread pudding, which was so good. But then immediately after eating it, <clears throat> I went out and walked and all over the, you know, bush gardens. And, uh, just, I mean, I, I, let's just say we exercised. And we walked all over the damn park, and then we were constantly dancing. We were up and Gangnam style and everywhere we went, which was bloody brilliant. It was <laughs> a great time. But, um, so I'm pretty sure whatever I did eat that night, I most probably burned off. I'll tell you, I woke up Sunday, and I felt like I'd been out bike riding the day before. My legs were, I mean, they were sore. I could really feel it, so, you know, I'm pretty sure whatever, whatever sugar I did take in, I did burn off, but I did get close to knocking myself out of ketosis, but I didn't, but I wasn't at moderate where I normally am, so I'm thinking I probably, you know, boned up my weight loss a little bit by eating that. We'll see, though. I'm hoping for at least four pounds. Honestly, that's what, that's what I'm hoping for because that'll keep me on my on my weight loss, you know, kind of the way I've been. Because four pounds will put me at 30 pounds in 28 days. That's still a little over a pound a day. And that's really my goal is to try to stay on the plus side. Where I'm at least one to two pounds over a pound a day. So, you know, right now, I guess I've been losing up. If I lose at least four pounds, that takes me down to, uh, I was 249, so let's say 245. Ooh, kind of hard to go. That'll put me at one and, what is that? 228, so that's, uh, 714. Or 114, so, uh, one and one fourteenth of a pound every day. 
which is still a pretty damn good weight loss, but, you know, I'm hoping. And it's curious to me anyway, because I'd like to see what cheating did that day, you know, what, how bad did it damage my weight loss by cheating Saturday and Sunday. And this whole putting the body in ketosis and how it burns fat, all that stuff is really intriguing to me. It's really interesting. And I've been maintaining a rather high weight loss during this time, you know, and I'd, li I'd like to <clears throat> try to understand why and how my body processes, you know, sugars and whatnot a little bit, you know, more, so. And that's pretty curious to me. It's, it's stuff like that that really interests me, so. We'll see. So I'm on my way there now. I'm, I don't know what time my appointment was. If it was 8 or 8.15 or what time I was supposed to be there. My appointments were at 8, but I was showing up like 7.30. But I don't need to be at work that early. You know, so I, I told him, I think I pushed it back to 8.15 or 8.30, I don't remember. So I figure I'll be there around 8-ish. <clears throat> well, it's 8-ish now, so... 8 10 ish <laughs> be able to understand better how my body works so if I should I see a moment of weakness in the future I can really know the consequences I can be clear on what exactly kind of happen to my diet if I decide to you know have a piece of cake or something like that but of course I'm gonna tell him I'm gonna be completely honest about the fact that I did because I want him to you know I want him to help me understand how my body burns fat as well You know, we shall see. friends supporting me. A lot of people saying, you know, hey, awesome job, man, stick to it. And, you know, really right there to help me out. You know, I mean, just right there. I've, I've had a lot of good people support me and offer me words of advice and, you know, just words of encouragement. I gotta say thanks to everybody. You guys have been so spectacular. And you probably, it's probably you guys that have made this so easy for me. So thanks to everybody. I mean, you know, Steve, Karen, of course, because you guys are right there with me. Um, Ignacio, you've been there, I mean, and offering advice and, and support. And Zeteric, of course, you know, you, you know, just, you're who I was texting just now, you know, you're right there first thing this morning, wishing me luck, and let me know how proud of me you are, and that means the world to me. I mean, I've got excellent friends, and I've got, I don't have a lot of friends, because I'm kind of picky, but the ones that I do have, are definitely quality friends, the kind that I, I would go to the wall with, you know, that guy would go through the door with them because I trust them implicitly. So, you know, thanks guys. Thanks a lot. You guys have been great. There, my voice is a little, uh, scratchy. I haven't, uh, that, that's all from, uh, Bush Garden still. I was yelling and screaming so much, my, made my throat raw and it's still recovering, so. <clears throat> and then, of course, my sinuses on top of that haven't been helping, so. Either way. 
I'm heading there now. And I'm actually, I'm actually a little nervous about it because I, you know, I've been doing so well and I don't want to disappoint anybody. And, and I know all my friends, they won't be disappointed. They'll be like, well, you know, you're still losing weight. Congratulations, you know, doing great. But I know that's because I cheated. And, I, you know, I cheated. I, well, I tried to cheat. You know, I tried to cheat. Cheat. Like, you know, just make a glutton of myself one night and celebrate. But I couldn't. I tried. I, I had a piece of, you know, a piece of cheesecake and some bread pudding. But I tried to eat, you know, a big meal and I couldn't. I ate a quarter of what I ate and what I took off the buffet thinking, yeah, I'm going to, you know, forge myself. Well, I did on, like, you know, half a chicken breast and some brisket and a roll. And the cheesecake, of course. After eating that, I was stuffed. I mean, I was literally stuffed. I felt like I had eaten a five-course meal. So it showed me that my body is adjusting to this low-calorie diet. It's adjusting to, you know, not having as much food. And it's it's adapting to it. And adapting to where I eat to smaller amounts and I feel full. You know, I feel comfortable. So that's really cool to see that. It's really neat to see where I used to sit down and gorge myself on, you know, a box of tacos. Now I can have three tacos and be overly full. It's interesting. That it's not that I'm, you know, I'm limiting myself. <coughs> it's not that I'm limiting myself mentally, it's that my body is adjusted and started limiting it itself physically. Where I don't have to eat much food at all to feel satisfied. And that's, you know, what it's all about when you're eating is you want to feel that satiated feeling. You want to feel, you know, that satisfaction of, of having a good meal. But I can get that with so much, with so much less food. So yeah, I'm uh, pulling in here now. Finally get this over with and get it out of the way and I quit being so bloody nervous about it. You know, this this damn weight loss thing is this the first night I could I you know, first night coming out here I couldn't sleep. You know, I didn't sleep the night before so I was I was nervous as hell about this whole thing. You know, it's, it's a big life changing event, so I was nervous. And now for the second time I'm nervous and now it's nervous because I'm I had a goal, I set a goal and I was moving towards it, but then I might have I might have screwed myself up a little bit by, by, you know, cheating. And I'll know this morning. I'll be able to. I'll be able to see the repercussions of my actions. You know, how bad did I screw it up by cheating? And you know, all that. So anyway, I'm here now. I'm done whining. I'm gonna go inside and get this business done, and we'll see how I did. I'll talk to you shortly, guys. Bye.